Hi everyone. This is Francisco and I just I've been getting this thought over and over and over because I thought about it. And then I thought it's not really a good idea. You know, um basically all it is is a spider web with a real spider. Well, not a real spider. Although that would be pretty dope. Pretty cool. But, like, man. I just seen, when I closed my eyes, I seen, like, a glass. Kind of like this. A glass container. With, with the spider web, um, you know the spider web design, like a, like a cartoon, and then that being wrapped around the glass, that just it being wrapped around the glass, um. With a real spider in there. Or. Or. What about. Um. Tarantulas. Cause I. actually went. And I seen. One of my customers. That had some tarantulas. Pretty cool. But. What if. There was real jewelry. Like real. Even if it's like. Fake diamonds. But something that they could add. To their. You know, as decoration for their, the habitats. Because I've been seeing in my mind, like, a spider web made out of silver. Like this. A silver necklace. So. And then the spider being like, you know with jewelry um i just thought that that would be a cool idea um stupid shoes get out of my way i, th I just thought it would be a good idea um but i kind of like thought about it and then i just i was like no I didn't record a video. And normally I do. As soon as I think about something, I don't care how stupid or retarded it might sound. I just upload it. You know? I just throw it out there. So, just right now, I was looking at something and it, that's, that thought came back to my mind. And... You know, that's why when I have something in my mind, I just record and I release it into the atmosphere. Because all it is is energy, you know, that we're feeding off of. And it's better that I share that energy with other people because we could take this to a whole different level now, right? Like, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking now, like, adding jewelry on turtles, um, adding jewelry and other ornaments filled with jewelry, um, in your fish tank or your iguana tank or lizards or snakes, something different, something entertaining and something that will obviously attract people to it because we're talking about your pet right like strictly reptiles there is a strictly reptiles here i think that's why i purchased my bearded dragon i purchased a bearded dragon but then 
I I released it. I should have just gave it away, but I released it. And it probably died, honestly. But I released it because I was hard timing it. I didn't have the money to to feed it. So I just released it. Um and I I also when I was in Redding, California, I I caught two blue skinks, blue skink lizards, and according to um according to the internet they're very rare and they're getting they're going to the brink of extinction because a lot of people catch them because their tails are so colorful and it attracts people like magnets to them and sadly they're getting wiped out because a lot of people like myself we think they're cool we're not educated there's not a lot of educational videos out there for us to learn and how to maintain them and take care of them and so I just I wasn't even trying to release them but they escaped I put them outside and they escaped but I'm glad that they did I'm glad that they got out of that you know enclosure thing but I wanted to keep them um because if there's people that go over your home I think people will be more drawn if not for the animals for the decorations that you might have and there's also this YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel, um, Zarpa, something Zarpa Designs, Zarpa Designs, Zarpa Designs, and basically he builds nothing but aquariums, like miniature gardens, and he introduces like waterfalls uh he intro he in I'm, I'm sorry he introduces water pumps so and he makes it like super cool like a garden of eden type of fantasy forest forest theme foresty theme and he puts like nature stuff and i was I even, I think I wrote him, and I was like, hey, you should add, like, some cool, you know, rocks, um, some gold, jewelry, because I seen he put some Pokemon, he created some with Pokemon, uh, they were super cool, he actually built them himself, but I have this, uh, rock, this rock tumbler, that I that I purchased and it basically allows you to get rocks in their rough state to make them super shiny and nice like that. And this is from the National Geographic channel. Um, I bought them after like watching a bunch of YouTube videos. But like even these will be good. Great in a fish tank. They'll be super cool. Like in a reptile in habitat. Um... People use them as jewelry. I just haven't really opened it or used it because I heard they could be no noisy. 
like super loud. So I'm not trying to disturb anyone. I think if anything, someone should cr should create um, because of the rocks, they tumble in this tumbler thing. And it, it just spins. It spins. It spins around. And then after time, over time, they get polished. And they turn super, super shiny. Um, but... Um, I think someone should create... Like... A soundproof barrier of some sort, or it should come with this, or people should add it or recommend it when buying this. Like, people normally buy this with this soundproof barrier type of thing. Um, to minimize noise because I was watching these YouTube videos and this guy had to leave his in the garage um, so I wouldn't know where to put this machine I could put it here in my room but I'm afraid that it's going to make a lot of noise um, but yeah, it says, turn rough rocks into polished gems. And this design is so cool. Like, you see all those, I think they're, um, hexagons. I, I forget the shape. But pretty much are they're octagons. Yeah, they're oct octagons. The same stuff that you see for um what's it called? Uh bees and wasps wasps wasps. But I love their packaging, I just noticed it right now. I never even opened it, honestly. Yeah, see, it's still sealed. But, um, yeah, like, I thought about this idea. And, you know, like, at first, It was just a thought, and then I, like I said, I brushed it away. I dismissed it. But then I was looking through the website Alibaba, um, and I seen something that reminded me of this idea of basically getting real jewelry to build a spider web. Or a bedroom. I don't know. And with the spider. I actually purchased something like that. At the Dollar Tree. The 99 cent store actually. It was the 99 cent store. And it was. A spider web. With, it was all black. With glitter. And then there was a silver. Spider web. I mean Spider. It looks super cool. I purchased that for Halloween. I was actually going to keep it. I must have thrown it away. Because I was like, why am I going to keep this stuff? It was just for Halloween. I only spent like 10 bucks on it. So I just decorated the outside of the house for under 10 bucks. 
I bought some signs, zombie zone, zombie, beware zombies on the loose, zombie breakout, whatever. As soon as Halloween was over, I threw it all away. Um, I was trying to keep the spider web so I could put it in my room. I thought it was super cool, but I, I just threw it away. But anyway, um, I don't know. I just hope that this helps someone or inspires someone out there. In one way or another. I really don't know. Why. I felt. Like sharing this stuff. But. I just hope. That. You guys out there will find it. Useful. And as a blessing. For yourself. For your loved ones. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just going to stop. And shut the hell up. And end this video.